Welcome back to another episode on Let's Trot, where we dive deep into the stories of successful individuals. Today, we're thrilled to bring you an exclusive chat with two of the toughest, most dynamic edge back rollers in the NRL, Jaden Sua and Keon Kolomatangi. From bone-breaking tackles to explosive plays, these two Polynesian powerhouses have made their mark on the field and are here to share their journey thus far, have a few laughs, and dive deep into each of their proud cultures. Sit back and enjoy. How are you, Jaden? Good, good. How you going? Good, good. Keon, how's it going? Very good, mate. Good. Mate! Mate! <laughs> <laughs> did you... Did you... Rush! Okay, go on, mate. <laughs> go on, mate. Were you close to ever uh, leaving South at uh, one point? No. Nah. He was about to come to the Dragons. <laughs> he almost came to the Dragons. Is that true? Yeah. Let's, um, let's talk about the World Cup in 2022. So you're playing England at St. James Park in Newcastle. It was a score of 60 to 6, I think it was. Yeah, we copped a lot of backlash and and stuff like that over over the loss. And We're going to watch the, the war cry uh, between you two. What's going through your mind? What, I want to know what's team. going through both your minds. Probably don't stuff up. <laughs> Are there um, any wingers in the NRL right now you believe you're better than? If so, who? <laughs> How are you, Jaden? Good, good. How you going? Good, good. Keon, how's it going? Very good, mate. Good. Mate! Mate! <laughs> <laughs> did you... Did you brush? Yeah, go on, mate. Go on, mate. <laughs> oh, boys, boys, talk, talk to me. Obviously, I'll start with you, Jaden. Um, a bit of a good season so far. Uh, three more games left to the, to the end of the competition. How's, uh, how's things? That's gone well. A um, lot better than we were last year. So, um, you know, when you're winning games, it's a good vibe around the club. And, um, yeah, look, we put ourselves in a good opportunity to play finals and... Um, <laughs> Why'd you sign? He just signed on you. We'll get to it. We've still got, yeah, we've still got um, obviously three more games to go, and I'm um, really looking forward to it. Yeah, beautiful. Keon, what about you, bro? How's the season? Hi. <laughs> 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 like, obviously, it's been tough. Yeah, but... you know, it's been tough, but, um, you know, yeah, it's one of those years. Um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to go pretty deep in the finals. Um, ever since I debuted, so, mm. you know, just one, one year and hopefully next year will be better. All right, Jaden, a few weeks ago, you played the Titans. You're coming up against David Fafida. Uh, it looked like a bit of a personal challenge, was it? Um, I wouldn't say a personal challenge. Um, you know, we're obviously boys. Uh, we come through the, the ranks at Brisbane together and yeah, yeah. Um, obviously when you play your mates, there's a bit more feeling towards it and, um, nah, there was a bit of talk on the field, but um, it was all love after the game, so yeah, it was good. Yeah, man. And what about you, Key? You had a couple of positional changes this year. Obviously, back row, into the lock position, what do you like better? Um, <clears throat> probably I like back row better, mm. to be honest. But um, at the time, I think Cam was out and yep. Origin duties and that. So uh, Benny sort of asked me just to go into the middle. So I was the next sort of um, experienced middle in a way. So uh, yeah, I'll just do whatever for the team. So, yeah. yeah Who's I, whose idea was it to go to go to put you out lock? Oh, just Benny. Okay. We, we, yeah, we had like. Uh, what? We're versing, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't Wayne's, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Good idea, buddy. Eh? You, you obviously flourished there. Have you, have you played in the middle before? I started my career there, but um, yeah, I prefer the edge, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, obviously, there's a similar look going on here. Is this Pirates of the Caribbean um, theme? Both of these haircuts and earrings? <laughs> or what's <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know if we get this. Over. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah, <laughs> one nil to me, one nil to me. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. boys, I want to thank you for coming on the show, especially on such short notice. So, our proud sponsor, Shoe Grab, uh, the best sneaker marketplace in the country. Dive in there, boys. See what you got. Oh, open it up. Open Come it up. Now. Yeah, right now, right now. Let's go, let's go. Go first. Dive in, dive in, dive in. Don't be shy. 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 What's that? Oh, what have we got? What have we got? Ooh, nice. New South Wales Blues. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are hectic, eh? Thanks, Eve. Yeah, he's lying. I know what he's lying. Yeah, he's lying. Appreciate you, my guy. Oh, uh, no, nah, thank you. Thank him. you. Nah. No. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. What's, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? No, nah, you got um, yeah, crack dunks. New ballots. <laughs> Brebock. <laughs> oh. Got them? You already got PSG those ones. ones. No, I don't. <laughs> don't you? PSG ones. Do you ones, like man. them? Yeah, I love them, yeah. Oh, nice. They're hectic. Thanks, bro. Can you look at them before you say I love them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the box is closed. Though. I love them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you rock them rooster colours all good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys, boys, boys. Um, I think you two have like a very um, similar playing styles as well and pers as personalities as well. What? No? You don't believe no. it? No. You don't think so? Yeah. Uh, I feel like whenever you make a, a personal matchup, um, you know, obviously personal, you, it brings the best out of you. Do you feel that with the both of you? 
Jay? Um, yeah, at times, I guess, for me, it's never really, um, I'd say personal, it's just more, you know, trying to get the job done. and um, A challenge, maybe? Challenge, yeah, challenge. Um, and it's, yeah, I, you know, come up against Kia a fair bit now, obviously playing for, for the Dragons, mm. like we have the charity shield and um, and all that. So it's, you know, it's it's always good to come up against your mates and um, it's fun, you know, you talk crap on the field. and. Yeah. Um, because like predominantly like the left edge is always kind of the, the side that everyone attacks on, right? You guys are both right edge back rowers, you know? So you're always coming up against like Kikiao, Angus Crichton, some pretty informed back rowers in the competition. Like, do you see that as a personal challenge? Key? Yeah. Um, I feel like, oh, for me personally, I, I try and, you know, try and put over my opposite number. I just make an individual battle. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to be better than them on the day. Um, Cause then that's sort of me doing my job for my team. Mm. And then let the result sort of take care of itself. But um, yeah, being a right edge back row, you know, left edge, uh, left edge um, attack is pretty much everyone's um, go-to side. Strength, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like you say, come up here, kick, uh, kick out Gussie and that, and you know, you're in for a big day when you versus those guys. Mm, yeah, I love that. And we're speaking about, you know, last week you played against the Cronulla Sharks, big rivalry game. Um, how does that sum up with like the other rivalry game you got to be a part of with the the Roosters and um, and Souths? Does it is there any similarities with those two games? Um, What's bigger? Oof. Oh, that's a tough one. I, I think, um, well, for me, it was probably the the, the South and Roosters, mm. um, just because of all the history there. And yeah, yeah. I know it's similar t um, with Cronulla and, and St. George, but um, yeah, I guess since I've been there the last two years, every time I first Cronulla, we've got pumped, so. Obviously, your background, your dad's uh, Samoan. Yep. Uh, what's your mum's heritage? I've actually never asked you. My mum's a Wakiwi. Yep. She's Pakia. So, um, yeah, they both grew up in, in New Zealand. And um, yeah, I was actually born there and uh, moved over to Australia when I was young, when I was two. So, it talks, in terms of uh, eligibility, you can play for obviously New Zealand, Samoa, Australia. Yep. So, if tomorrow I was to tell you you can play for any of those three, who would you play for? Um, ooh. Hey, Key, are you sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Probably, um, oh, I guess you know. I can't really play for for New Zealand because I've played for I played Origin. You can't really those rules mix and match. I'm not sure if you you know did your research, but <laughs> 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 but hypothetically, hypothetically, far out nah, in a perfect world. Yeah, um, you know, I would love to play for Australia just because um, you know they they you know gave me all this opportunity and. Um, mm -hmm. I just think it would be cool. I haven't played for them obviously before, and but if I had to pick one for the rest of my career, it'd probably be Samoa. Just um, it just feels different, um, you know, when I put that jersey on and um, fill up, you know, big sense of pride. And yeah. um, you just, you know, it, it's bigger than just myself. It's for my family and um, for my people. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. What about you, Key? Obviously, your dad's Tongan, mum's uh, Australian. Mm. Yeah. Australia, Tonga. Like, what do you see as a high That's accolade cool. for you? Um, <clears throat> probably uh, before I played for Tonga, it probably was Tonga. Um, well, to if I was to to choose, yeah, <clears throat> just because um, I just wanted to represent my dad's side, um, and because obviously coming from a, you know my dad come from a small country, he was born over there too, so he came over um, with his parents and just the opportunity they gave me, so um, sort of giving back in a way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you ask me now, like if, if both of them, you know, obviously were to choose me or something like that, um, obviously I haven't played for Australia yet. So I probably want to tick that off, you know what I mean? And yeah. With Tonga and Samoa, like, is there a lot of similarities with the two cultures? Key? Key. Like obviously, <laughs> like... Uh, yeah, um, you're both very family orientated. Uh, you're both brought up in the church um, and sort of instilled that the number one thing in your life is, is Jesus, um, the Lord. And... Um, everything comes off the back of that. Um, and yeah, pretty much everything's family first. And that's probably the similarity between both. You feel the same with Jordan? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think family is the big thing. Um, I know both cultures are, um, we're just being in camp, the Samoan camp. Um, it was very family orientated. And uh, just seeing, I guess, um, how much it means to, I guess, both countries' people. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, you know, it gets pretty emotional and... Um, Yes, it's really cool to see. Yeah, I love that. Let's tap into both of your upbringings. So you first, obviously at the age of 13, you had a two-year scholarship from uh, Canberra Raiders, is that right? Yep. Yeah, how did that work? Um, so back in the day, the, um, our, uh, what do you call it? Our school was actually uh, with the Raiders. Affiliated. So affiliated, that's that's the word. Um, 
so yeah, uh, I got a scholarship through there and I spent a couple of years there and um, yeah, things obviously progressed and um, it was either Canberra or, or Brisbane at a young age and I, well, I, I obviously wanted to stay in Brisbane, so that's where I, where I stayed. So you didn't need to go to Canberra for any like games or anything like that, no development kind nah, of? Nah, it, it was all Brizzy based, so yeah, well. um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And you, Keon, obviously playing for Mascot Jets, <coughs> bandwagon. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. what, how did you end up at Mascot? You obviously grew up in Canterbury. Why make the travel all the way to South Juniors? Uh, well, my dad told me that it was because he played in the South Comp. Oh, he grew really? up like, around Newtown and that. So he played for like the Rovers. He played for what, Meadow Tigers and everything. Never but he never a... played for Mascot. Okay. But they were the best team. Um, so he wanted to take me there um, because he thought that that was the best opportunity for me. You know, going forward. Was rugby league the only thing for you growing uh, up? I played union as well. Oh, yeah. Um, played at Randwick as well. Um, nice. Played, what, union on a Saturday, league on a Sunday. Yeah. And then when I was about how I'm at age, I, I chose league. Did you also do swimming? Yeah. Only I swam until 16. Did you? Yeah. Uh, and how far did you go with that? Uh, I went to nationals. Couple, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just going to throw this out there. Like, whenever I did swimming, like in, uh, in pre season and that, I was like stuck with all the poly boys, you know, at the uh, back, and we're probably walking for most of the. Like, it's not really no, like, nah. poly boys, good swimmers, yeah. true? Nah. Yeah. But yeah, my mum's a swim coach, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that so makes sense that, now. Yeah. Say that louder. Say that all. I'm going about Brian again. Yeah, we had jet skis here. Yeah, cool story. Uh, <laughs> Not far out. <laughs> anyway, where, where am I? Um, we spoke about the vibrant cultures and stuff like that. Um, with Samoan, uh, have you ever have you been to Samoa before? No, I haven't. You've never been to Samoa? No, I've never been. We're supposed to go after the World Cup. Um, okay. And all the boys went, but yeah, a few things I had planned already. <sighs> I couldn't get over there, which was uh, disappointing, oh, man, but right. um, no, I'm sure I'll go there soon. But, uh, what are you? Have, no, been no, no, have you no. been to Tonga? Yeah, I've been to Tonga, yeah. 2010. 2010. Yeah. And how was that? That was good. Uh, yeah, makes you appreciate life here in Australia. In what sense? Um, just like simple as living conditions and that. Mm. Um, and just the resources that you have here. Yeah, beautiful. I love that. Uh, what about Wayne Bennett? Let's talk about Big Wine, Long Neck. His dad. <laughs> yeah, his dad. Your dad. Yeah, we'll, dad. We'll start with you, actually. Your granddad. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he, well he's, uh, he's been instrumental for your career. Let's, let's face it. He obviously debuted you at Broncos. Yeah. He got you from Broncos to Souths. Um, and he was, it was also reported that he wanted to get you when he was, uh, he's obviously coming back to South, so he wanted to get you back from the, the Dragons. So, is that true? <laughs> That's not true. An That's origin? Not true. Nah. Uh, an, or, an, an origin. origin. There you go. So, yeah, like, is, is it fair to say he's been a good role model for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I can't obviously speak highly enough of him. Um, gave me my debut, you know, when I was 18. And, um, yeah, obviously things didn't all plan out at Brisbane and mm. um, got me down to South, which was a pretty cool. I remember I was... Um, Sitting in the car, I had been dropped to reserve grade. And I was sitting in the car before training, uh, going to reserve grade. I was eating Maccas. I wasn't even bloody training. And he called right. me. And um, Out yes, of the blue. Just like, out of the blue. Yeah, yeah called me. He's like, what are you doing? I was just like, oh, shit. I'm about to go training. And he goes, um, I'll come down to South. And basically just said, I'll get you to where you need to get to. And um, That's awesome. Yeah, the rest is history, yeah. Why didn't it work at the Broncos? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can, you, like, yeah, yeah. can you talk about it? Yeah. Um, well, I just think, you know, I was, no, I'm probably still a little bit bitter about it. Um, really? Oh, uh, in a way, like. I can understand. Like, you're a Broncos junior. You've gone through the ranks there. You're a busy boy. What, you kind of were disappointed in the end with the decision not to keep you? Is that how, how it panned out? Yeah, it was more so, um, I had just resigned as well, uh, like a three-year deal. And then, obviously, the stuff with Wayne and um, Steve's happened and, Seeb's come through and I actually have a good relationship with Seeb's and um, you know, I picked up a few injuries and then kind of started in the team and then just got drifted out and then, yeah, a couple months later I was told I wasn't wanted and... Oh, um, really? Yeah. Is this the first year into your extension? Yep. Mm. And then like, I think like six months before they were, they were saying that, oh, you know, we want you to be here for the next 10 years and I was kind of... Blindsided know, a bit. Yeah. And obviously didn't want to leave, but, um, you know, that's footy. Um, and I guess you've, you know, might have had some of those experiences in your career, so... Um, <laughs> uh, it's still fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, nah, like, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I totally it's, get it. No, it's totally a part of the game, and um, yeah. you know, as, as I guess disappointing and uh, upset I was at the time. If if you know if those things don't happen, you know, I'm probably not sitting here right now. So um, yeah, great yeah. wise. No, I love that, man. Love that. What about you with Wayne? With Wayne? He's obviously been a big role model for yourself. How do you describe him best for you? Um, probably, probably just a mentor. 
in a way. Uh, my debut under him, um, and he sort of made me earn his trust. Uh, sorry, made me earn his trust yeah. in a way, because um, obviously I was coming through as a back rower, and he pretty much told me, uh, "I'm not going to play your back row because I don't trust you at the moment. So you're going to play middle." And I was like, "Oh, all right." So then I, I played um, my debut in, as a middle, and then coming in the next year, I played the first game um, off the bench, and then uh, we played in Melbourne. And we lost in Melbourne, and then um, the next week he just came to me and said, um, "I'm going to play your back row this week, and um, I don't, I don't want you to uh, overthink anything. I'm going to play for the next, um, I think he said month. Yeah. No matter how you play, I'm going to keep you there. Um, so that sort of gave me confidence to just don't worry about you know doing something wrong or you know making an error or anything like that. And that um, yeah, sort of grew from there. So. Yeah, I, I love that. What about um, Shane Flanagan? Oh, obviously a great coach for the Dragons this year. He's turned the club around. It's, <laughs> <laughs> He's that too. <laughs> yeah, too no, nah, honestly, but is there any comparisons with those two like, um, in yeah. terms of the way they coach and their, their style? Yeah, I think they're um <clears throat> they're both man I managers. Guess, yeah, man managers. Um, you know, I think uh, you know they generally care as well um, about your uh, life outside of footy, and that's one thing I've um, feel I've been able to connect with uh, Shane now is um, yeah, I guess he really cares, and you know he sort of makes you want to play for him as well. Um, He's pretty stern in, I guess, what he wants. And, mm. you know, he doesn't, he always says, you know, I'm not telling you. Oh, no, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. And, um, I love that. yeah, it's, I think a lot of the boys have um, really kicked on this year as well because of it. And it's, you know, definitely what we needed as a team. I don't, I don't know if you've asked him, I know you guys are very close, but um, I've never asked you this. Why did you actually leave South? I actually thought you would have stayed, like, given what you've done for the club. Yeah. Um, uh, I think at the time, you know, you know, you were there in the 21 season and mm. um, it was the best time of my life, eh? I guess we were all up there. That was a great and, year. That was a mad year up, uh, up in Gold Coast. Yeah, we oh. all up there in, in the COVID year. And um, and you guys playing UK want to cheat every single, every single hand, but <laughs> yeah. we won't get into that. Still owe me money. <laughs> Still owe you money, mate. Yeah. Still owe me money. <laughs> yeah, but um, as I said, it was the time of my life and, you know, I guess as a team, we, we became actually a family. And yeah. um, so leaving South was hard. It was the hardest thing. And I, as I, again, I didn't want to leave. Um, but that's just the way it goes, you know. Mm. Keon took all the money, yeah, which is annoying. Well, he just extended as well, yeah. so we'll get. We're actually going to get into that. Um, yeah. <laughs> what about that? Were, did, were you close to ever uh, leaving South at, uh, at one point? No, nah. he was about to come to the Dragons. <laughs> he almost came to the Dragons. Is, is that true? Yeah, yeah. Is that true? <laughs> there you go. Is that true? <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, obviously, you know, how, you know, how it works like a negotiation and that. Um, obviously, I couldn't talk um, until November one. Yeah. Um, but I headed, I headed over to England before then, um, so I couldn't talk to any other clubs. But my priority was South, um, obviously being a junior there, and I didn't want to leave. Um, you know, obviously the squad that we have felt like there's a. I, I didn't want to leave, um, not knowing if we could win a premiership or not. Mm. Um, and obviously the the sort of main core was still there, and I, I my decision was purely based off um, where I can win the best, uh, where I can win. And for me, I, I felt that was the rabbit idea. Yeah, I love that. I know we're touching on a lot with with coaches and stuff, but one other coach I want to um, ask you about, Kiwi, is about Christian Wolf. He's obviously <laughs> taken on the Dolphins head coaching role next year. Do you reckon he'll be up to it? Or how do you reckon his first season will, will go? <laughs> 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 nah, he, Wolf is um, – nah, he'll, he'll slot in straight away. Um, obviously, the success he had over at St. Helens, I think it was four in a row or something like that. Mm. Um, coming over here and obviously being assistant to Wayne, he will just pick up so much. And, um, he's a, a coach that the boys will respect and um, anything he says, um, you know, they'll do and they'll listen to him. And um, he's very, very much about physicality and um, wrestling and everything like that. So, um, yeah, the preseason will probably be very tough. But, um, no, he'll... he'll um, Get the best out of his yeah, players? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I like that. Let's um let's talk about the World Cup in 2022. Uh, that was a pretty pretty cool time. I've obviously going back a couple of seasons now. So I'll start with you. Um, the start was a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. Let's, let's face it. Obviously, you're playing England at St James Park in Newcastle. It was a score of 60 to six, I think it was. Yeah, it was yeah. something like that. How, how how did that happen? Like you guys were one of the favourites going into that competition as well. Do you reckon you guys got a bit ahead of yourself, or you reckon you just were not ready? Um. Oh. Yeah, it, it's a hard one because our, our prep was kind of um, – wasn't the best. Obviously, we all went over there early and all the Penrith boys, oh. and they were like majority of our team. Um, you know, they all came late. They just won the comp. And, um, yeah, I think we sort of maybe just felt like it was just all going to happen for us. And um, it obviously didn't. We ended up getting hiding. And, mm. um, yeah, we copped a lot of backlash and, 
and stuff like that over over the loss. And mm. from there, you know, we just um, stuck together. Again, you know, I think it was led by the Penrith boys. Um, you know, they really just you know brought us all together and just told us, you know, this is this is us now, and um, you know, let's make it, let's make some noise. And you know, that's what we did. We actually played Tonga in the um, was it quarter semi final. Quarters, yeah. Quarter, yeah. And it was. Uh, <laughs> We're doing now. Um, <laughs> I'll see the towel before uh, yep. um, the game, and, and me and this guy were at the front. And we're looking at each other in the eyes, and I was trying not to laugh, and then I was trying not to cry, and it was a bit of you know emotions were all over the all over yeah. the joint. But they stuffed up their um yeah. their one, so it was yeah, it was it was a good time. Well, can I say because that was my next question? I actually didn't notice that you guys stuffed up. Oh. Um, Obviously, the Samoan Sivatel and the Tongan Sipitel. Um, I hope I pronounced that uh, correctly. But let's talk about that actual moment for a second because you said that you stuffed up. Um, and I don't think we've actually seen two war dancers like, going toe-to-toe. We've all obviously seen one nation go and then another other nation get their opportunity to perform. Um, how did that go about? Did you guys actually talk to each other bef- prior leading up to that event um, on how you guys were going to go about it? Was there any... Or- they just happen naturally. I, I, yeah, I think June's, I think June's um, and Liver. Yeah, they they discussed it before, just well. about you know kind of doing it together, and it was obviously it was cool. It was you know cool for all the fans, and yeah. it just shows I guess how powerful you know both our little nations are. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, onto the question you asked, Key. Oh. Well, well, honestly, like I just like looking as a fan. <clears throat> um, I know you guys obviously have best mates and it was a bit funny in that moment but speaking of the emotions going through that like it's this is deeply rooted in your cultures you know what i mean so what does it feel like to actually perform that oh, how do you how do you put that into words oh you can't really eh? it's like a um, out of body experience almost yeah it's like like it's like um you just look at the opposition and that's all that's there like you don't see any crowd like nothing eh? well it's you're like in that moment and like yeah obviously we were staring at each other it was funny because yeah, obviously we messaged before as well oh. <laughs> and yeah well i think we said what side we're gonna go or something and then yeah. we both went the same side <laughs> obviously we we're trying not to laugh at each other but um no nah, it was crazy but yeah like you said we stuffed up and it was a little yeah liver he 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 was he was meant to say like a phrase and then yep. we go down but he missed that phrase uh, so he skipped that so is it there skipped, at the end he skipped it so we're meant to go down oh, but he skipped it and then we did the movements that we're meant to do on our knee, standing up. Uh, so if you look at everyone, like we were like looking at each other and like didn't know what to do, and then yeah, it was a bit, yeah. And then everyone was pretty angry. Because I, I thought like during it, like the first thing you think, you're going into battle, right? That's what the, what the, what the war cry is about. And then at the end, like you all, you guys kind of separated and kind of embraced with each other. Like it was a bit of a face off and then you had that mutual respect. No. Which I found pretty special as well. Um, how do you kind of change your mindset? I'll go with you, Asua. How do you change your mindset from going into something that you put all your time and energy into and then kind of switch, put it on the switch to go into actual game? Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Is that a challenge? Yeah, I guess I guess for me, um, when I, whenever I do it, is, um, I almost faint just because of the emotion yeah. and obviously the yelling. Um, and then obviously you come back and then, you know, you finish your um, your Siva and then you, you go out there and you, and you play. It's... I don't know, I've, you know, the emotion's high for the, obviously the first five minutes, but, um, you know, the emotion goes out the window when you're fatigued. So it's important to, um, you know, realise that, yeah, the first five minutes is going to be tough, but then after that, you know, you're there to do your job and uh, focus on your job. So, did, yeah. Did you guys um, <clears throat> actually take in what you guys did for the community after that that tournament and that game, that game in particular? Because I feel like in society, I feel there's a bit of a rivalry between Samoan and Tongan cultures. Is that, is that fair? Yeah. And after that game, do you feel like you created a bridge and a bit of unity between those two uh, two cultures, Keon? Yeah, um, I think probably because we played over there. Yeah. Like there wasn't many, um, obviously many Tongan and Samoan mm. fans that could make it. So then all the partying and that that was happening back here in New Zealand, um, you know, they just sort of partied together and sort of, you know, mm. embraced each other and just celebrated. It was a big moment for, you know, everyone because we're on the world stage in a different country. Um, and, you know, coming from... You know, the best small countries compared to the rest of the world. Just small countries being in a big stage yeah. in in, you know, in England um, is big for the big for the countries. Yeah, well, I love that. Well, we're going to watch the the war cry uh, between you two. Uh, so we're going to get the iPad out and I want to get your reactions from it. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to watch it now. Yeah, we're going to watch it now. We're going to watch it now. Right. Let's get it up. When was the last time you actually watched this back? 
it always comes up on like socials, eh? So okay. I always see it on socials and it just shows, I guess, how big it was. Did you guys actually know how big it was after and what effect it had on the community? I think we always knew, um, I guess, the enormity of, I guess, the game on how big it would be for our people back home. Yeah. Just because obviously, as you were saying, it's um, such a big rivalry and, um, and I think that's why there was so much emotion uh, put out into this. Have you guys found yourselves in that? <laughs> yeah, this guy's right at the front. <laughs> You're the front of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is, like, what's going so through young. your mind? What's going through you your mind? Like I want to know what's going through both your minds. Like, put aside you guys look at each other, but be before that, like, what's going through your actual mind? Probably don't stuff up. <laughs> besides that. <laughs> no. Nah, um, I don't know. It's... Do you feel connected? Like, more connected to being a Tongan, being a oh, Samoan? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Anytime you go into camps like that, yeah, you just feel more connected. What's your family think of it? What's oh, their perception when they see that? I think, yeah, it's a, they all get emotional, really. <laughs> um, family come out of everywhere. And, um, yeah, when they see this, it's, I guess, you know, your last name's on the back, so it's not just you that's made it, it's the, them that's made it as well. Oh, I want to ask you, obviously leading up to it, um, how much practice and time do you put into the war dances? Oh, for us, it was like we had, like, culture night, um, it was like probably a few nights a week, um, and that it, it wasn't just about about that. It was about like um, you know we had like quizzes about uh, got two teams and just it made it fun sort of thing. And, yeah. And, yeah. So about like Tongan history, Tongan football history, and um, some some other one was some other Tongan one. Um, also learning as well, like because yeah. so, a lot of the boys, um, yeah, don't know much about the Tongan history Especially and that, including myself. If you grow up, yeah. up here as well, yeah. Yeah. Um, so. You know, you're learning as well. And then at the end of it, um, before dinner, we normally um, did that, which was pretty good. And at the end, did you guys embrace? <clears throat> yep. Do yeah. you remember what you said to each other? I can't remember. I just said, he said to me, this will be your last game. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah good, you're dead. <laughs> no, I'll put it down. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, obviously, tough game. Yeah. Pretty physical game. You scored the opening try. Yep. Pretty, pretty happy about it and animated. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, rubbed it in his face, that's all right. Um, but you had a pretty good game as well. No, you don't believe you did. I was like three positions, eh? Yeah. <laughs> that's all. I ended up five, back. eight. Yeah, well, there was one play in particular where you trapped and scrapped one grubber. Um, oh. Yeah, you picked up and you had the whole length of the field in front of you, but got ran down after 10 meters. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely bog, absolutely bog, absolutely <laughs> bog trotting, bog trotting. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but to be fair, they you guys scored on the, on the next play. Um, <laughs> uh, going, <laughs> speaking to you, Sua, um, <coughs> obviously the next game you play, uh, was it England yep. in the semi semifinal at, uh, in London? Yeah. What was that experience like? Yeah, that was unreal. Actually, it wasn't one of my favourite games there because I, I let like one of the last tries in to take it, I think took it to golden point. So um, fuck, I was scared. <laughs> I was like, shit. But um. Yeah, we obviously got the field goal and and won, and it was just it was massive, eh? Like, um, it was a big crowd. Massive, it was massive, and it was just cool. I guess like um, all the there wasn't many, but all the Samoan people that were there, they started singing the hymns and and wow. stuff like that after the game, and um, yeah, it was all the boys were just like we kind of knew that we could get there. It was just a matter of um, actually getting there. So yeah, it's how you turned it around as well, especially coming up against England, where you got smoked by in the first game. And then you pull up a, an amazing upset. Yeah. Like, that's did, the did you game. have that scar tissue, but like from that first game going into that nah, game? Nah, we didn't at all. Like, we kind of, the boys had a, a kind of a saying that, like, once we got into the finals, it was, um, oh, pack your bags, boys, we're going home after this game. And it kind of just drove us to, um, I guess, oh. keep progressing into the into the uh, tournament. And um, yeah, after when we were versus England, we were like, oh, boys, we're going home this week. So yeah, uh, get ready. And then, yeah, it was just a kind of a joke in the camp, and um, yeah, we we got back to that game, and we all wanted to play it. We all knew that um, this was sort of our grand final. Like we yeah. just wanted to get back at them, and um, yeah, we did that. Yeah, I love that. I want to ask you both with this. I'll start with you, Key. What's been your favourite moment putting on the Tongan jumper? And proudest? Uh, probably uh, my debut in 2022 when we played New Zealand in New Zealand at Mount Smart. Uh, probably because obviously it was my first game for Tonga and um, I remember my parents watched it at home and with my grandparents at their house and my mum was telling me that um, my dad got emotional like when he seen me 
um, for the first time in the jersey. Wow. And um, yeah, my dad, I've never seen my dad cry. So to hearing that, it's, it's pretty cool. And like knowing how much it meant to him. So yeah, it's pretty cool. What was the atmosphere like? Wasn't oh, it a sea crazy. of red? Sea of red, Yeah, right? it, it's pretty, yeah. They just love uh, love to party, the Tongans. So yeah, as soon as he ran out, yeah, it was freaking just crazy and just allowed the whole game, singing the whole game. So, something I've never um, been a part of before. So um, yeah, it was a very, very special moment. So what? Um, probably my debut as well. Um, you know, I guess I'm half Samoan, so you know, I grew up moving from New Zealand to to Australia, and you know, I didn't grow up with um, you know, much the culture I guess around me, and obviously all my my Samoan family lived in New Zealand, so um, yeah, sort of I guess putting out that jersey for the first time, it just made me feel like um, you know, this is who I am, and uh, made me feel proud. And as I said, when we performed our uh, Sivatau. I remember I almost fainted and um, wow. just, yeah, with all the emotion and um, everything that went behind it, it was, it was awesome. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Thanks for sharing, boys. Appreciate that. Let's um, obviously stay on the representative topic. Let's talk origin. Um, game three this uh, this year, you oh, got... Mate. Sorry. Nah, sorry. <laughs> no, but I want to... I, I, I need to ask this. I need yeah, to no, ask this. Obviously, checking. you didn't make the side. Yeah. Um, Billy Slater, I had a conversation with you prior to not being selected. Um, what was that conversation? Yeah, it was... Um, <clears throat> He called me and we just got pumped by the Roosters, eh? And I remember I was lining up at the GYG and I, I got a call from him and I jumped out of the line and I answered. And as I was answering it, my missus was, um, yeah, my partner was standing like maybe 10 minutes away and she's like like all mm -hmm. excited and happy. And um, I was just like, oh, shook my head. I was like, nah. And then he just said to me that, um, you know, I've got my 40 back to um, a standard where, um, you know, I'm I'm gonna be up for selection for a long time now, but um, unfortunately for this game, he's gonna go a different way. And um, oh, I was disappointed, like kind of, I guess, upset that you know I didn't get an opportunity to um, make up for, I guess, you know, what happened in game two. Uh, game two, but yeah. you know, at the end of the day, um, I'm grateful for you know a big goal of mine was to get back to that arena uh, this year, and um, I always knew I could do it if uh, if I stayed healthy and. Um, yeah, just happy it all worked out. So you understood in the end, and you obviously got a tremendous amount of respect for Billy as a coach. Heaps, um, probably the smartest coach that um, you know I've ever had. I believe that he yeah. so detailed and um, the way he analyzes players and and plays and you know body movements. Um, wow, it's just yeah, it was unreal. So as I said, yeah, nothing but respect for Bill and. Um, it was it was awesome experience. Bobby, UK obviously it would be one of your goals to get back in the Sky Blues jumper. You had your first taste of it. Um, what was that moment like when you first got that opportunity? Um, yeah, it was sort of unexpected, really. Um, I was a uh, 19th man for game two at Suncorp, uh, and that was a mad experience to be a part of. Um, that's when, like, you know, like Fox and that got Simbin and that, and that was like, it was pretty crazy to watch that and how intense the fans are and stuff. And um, yeah, I got the call um, on a Sunday night. I was at my, at my parents, um, and I was driving back from my parents' home, and I was like, at, um, just driving past, I was like in Greenacre or something, and then I got a call on my phone from Freddie. So I, I thought that I was just gonna be 19th man again. Anyways, I answered, and then he's like, oh, what are you doing, mate? I'm like, oh, I'm just driving home, blah, blah. It was like late at night, it was like 10, 30, 11. Wow. And I, I was like, um, oh yeah, I'm just driving home. And he goes, um, are you ready to play? And I was like, oh, yeah. And he goes, oh yeah, I'm, you're gonna play um, next game? I was wow. like, oh, no way. And then he said to me, I'm starting, and I was like, oh, frick. Wow. So then, yeah, I started uh, eating healthy and that. <laughs> you know, you start worrying and that. You yeah. want to eat nothing bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I was like, wow. And then, yeah, I had my missus and my daughter in the car at the time, which was pretty good, pretty cool moment. Um, and then, yeah, uh, obviously you, you played at, at ANZ and, you know, that walkout that you do, yeah, yeah. That, that was probably that was probably the best walkout I've ever, like, been a part of, like, in a football game. Like, you know, walking down the speakers are blaring and that, and you see the crowd, you hear them. And then, right? Yeah, and then you run out, and because you run out from a different side, you know, mm. than we normally run out, you run mm. out from the others. You run out, it's just like 80,000. It's like, whoa. Yeah, because that, that was the first time I played in front of um, ANZ, like that that pack. So that was mad. Like, it just, it was like a biggest blur ever. Um, you know, singing national anthem and that, just soaking it all in, and then, uh, yeah, then the kickoff went, and then just a sort of another game, really. Yeah. Yeah. How good is that? I actually didn't write this question, but I just come, just, just jake my memory. I want to, 
I want to know what you would share um, through your personal experiences, you know, growing up. Like, obviously, you've got guys that look up to you. What kind of can you, what advice could you give to someone that's obviously in a similar position as you, like Polynesian, Australian, whatever nationality it is, but as a back rower? Well, any, I guess, advice, you know, that I would give, I guess, a younger me is um, just to say, stay at it, stay consistent. Um, you know, don't get bored of the process. Like, uh, things aren't always going to go your way, whether it's, you know, not making a team or um, you know injuries and and all that all that jazz, but um, yeah, just stay ready and um, you know stay honest. Okay. Yeah, probably similar. Um, I, I debuted when I was 22, so which is like you know somewhat a little bit late, you know, in a way. Um, so probably for me, it's probably sort of try to switch on earlier, like you know when I'm a teenager. Uh, um, yeah, because obviously I was just I got to a stage where I was playing cup and working at the same time. And, you know, I didn't know if I was going to make it and I sort of already changed my mind like I was just going to work sort of thing. And then I just got an opportunity and it's probably just wait for your opportunity and just make the most of it because you never know what's going to happen. So mm. it's, it's made that it panned out. Love that, boys. Thanks for sharing. I know we got pretty deep there in the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rain. <laughs> All right, next segment, truth or spill the sauce, boys. There's a couple of sauce bottles in front of you and some hot chips in the middle. Um, how do you guys deal with uh, spicy food? Yeah, I'm a, I like spicy food. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I actually do. Oh, you'll yeah. be sweet then. I start sweating up, eh? So. Do you? Oh, yeah, I swear. But I like it. I like it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Beautiful, Cassie. Can't wait to see the sweat marks in your trackies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, question one. Question one. Um, Don't start with him. Or start oh, with me. like full, like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, you got questions, okay. by the way? No, no, yeah, yeah. You got but questions? You uh, um, oh, already answered this, but man. Anyway, stuff me up. You were reported to go back to South um, after Wayne's announcement um, to be a head coach. True or false? Say again? You were reported to go back to South after Wayne's announcement. Was that true or false? False. False. But you told me. <laughs> <laughs> so false. So was do there, I have to elaborate or? Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to. Nah, false. Um, oh, like obviously when you come off contract, there's always gonna be you know chitter chatter and yeah. Um, just as a um, a normal human, I wanted to like see if there were, you know, what was out there and um, yeah, I never but once spoke to Wayne. Okay. Um, you know, everyone was always asking me, but um, yeah, I, had, I hadn't spoke to him at all. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, Keon. Uh, true or false, uh, Wayne Bennett was the actual person to put you at lock in the first place, not Ben Hornby. No, nah, false. <laughs> false. Yeah. No, nah, Benny. Unless Benny got told, but no, nah, I'm pretty sure it was Benny. Okay. He he just told me he needs um, um, you know, experience in the middle. A bit, bit of a shake-up. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, sweet. Okay. All right, sweet. The floor is your boys. Do uh, you want to ask me something? Yeah, sure. Um, are there um, any wingers in the NRL right now you believe you're better than? If so, who? <laughs> oh, I, I, I believe that's true. Yeah, okay. I believe I'm, I'm better than some some wingers at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to finish the who? last part of the you question? Said who? Or? Oh, I can't think of the top of my head. We well, can. We've got time. What, got what, time. Do, what did you say? What you did you say? Names? Huh? What did you say? Names? Because that was the question. Yeah. Well, I do. You watch yeah. footy, mate. You know wingers. There's only two <laughs> in each team. Mate, I see you all on the. Uh, Listen, I'm the gonna podcast. play humble. I'm gonna play humble. <laughs> 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 yeah, can you pour the sauce on. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. No, that's all. I can do it. I can do it. That's all right. yeah. Do you like? Do you like it or not? No, it's, it stings. It looks like crap sauce. What well, do you actually have to have it with that? Yeah, it stings. It stings. It stings. What's the chip? Just a Dorito. Oh, is it Dorito? Mm. Oh, I thought it was the world's hottest chip thing. Mm. Mate. Mm. <laughs> man. Oh, man. Oh, Keon, ask him something. No, nah, it's a question oh, for you. I'm asking you. No, no, you have to ask no, him me now. Me? I just got to ask. Nah. It's a question oh, for you. Go. <laughs> I'm rattled. <sighs> All right, you gotta, you got to be completely honest. Okay. You can't lie. Well, obviously, that's the game. Yeah, well, <laughs> do you remember our game in Dubbo? <laughs> <laughs> Very well, unfortunately. Actually, not very well because I got knocked out at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. Did you, <laughs> did you Did you really get knocked out? Yeah, I got knocked and out. And how? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much, bro. <laughs> nah, I got knocked out. Um, obviously, I wasn't having the best of games. Were you having the best game too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, were, were you having the best game too? Were you? Like, I got dropped out of that game. <laughs> 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 
Remember I didn't get up on the show side and then I did the other way? Review. Oh, <laughs> do you remember that review? Oh, do you remember that review, bro? That was the funniest thing in my life, bro. You almost started crying. Nah, remember that review <laughs> with, with at Bulldogs? <laughs> Which one? And I wasn't chasing, you were chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to cry. <laughs> what happened? What happened? No, okay. don't worry. That was the one oh my God. You can't just do that. You have to go. <laughs> you brought it up. Go, okay, what happened? Nah, he's got one. He's got no, one. Okay. He's got one about that. No, no, no. Listen, back to your question. Yes, I did get knocked oh, out. Yeah. Um, it was actually behind Toto's boot. Oh. Like, yeah, no, knocked me out. <laughs> do you not, you didn't fake it? Why would I fake it? That's just what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was just uh, asking uh, why he yeah, said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> go on. What was your thing? No, I don't think. No, about the Bulldogs thing, uh, the review. What happened there? Oh, there was a review was where um, one? what pen of one? The pen of one you got, John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk to us about that. Talk oh. to us about that. It was a double game too. It was a double. Oh yeah, game. you got he dropped. Got, did you play Reggie's the week, week after? <laughs> chill, <laughs> chill. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, right. I did. Yeah. I um. He didn't. He was yeah. Yeah, I um. I was doing review, and I popped up a few too many times, and then um, I popped up again. I was on the short side. And we're on our line, defending our line. Mm. And, um, no, it, it was a yardage set. Their yardage set. And I didn't come up, was that one? Yeah. You tell it, I can't remember. Go on, Caleb, you got a bit of memory. funny, bro. Go on, tell us so, you know, um, so we kicked in the corner or whatever. And yeah, I tackled there. And then Sewell went short side, right? Penrith, they, they shifted the other side. But Sewell didn't get up on the short side. But like, there's no point, you know what I mean? Like, mm. And then <laughs> when, when Wayne, like in video, he... We watched that play and then Wayne goes, Leapy, rewind that clip. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then we're all like looking at each other. And he goes, because he, he calls him Jaden. Yeah. It's Jaden. <laughs> it's because Saul, Saul sits, sits in front of me. You know, he's, <laughs> and, I look, and, I and he was tapping me on the back too. He was tapping me on the back. <laughs> I, was, I, was like, I was already trying not to cry because I was up there heaps. And then, <laughs> oh, he pretty much said, why, why the F didn't you get up there on the short side? And Saul like, didn't have an answer. And then, yeah, then he ended up getting dropped that week and then, yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember you were like the start of video? Like the, the playlist comes up and he's got like all the captions. Yeah. <laughs> there was one of key, on, but he spelled key on key K E O N G. What was King Kong? I looked at him straight away. I lost. How about the one we used to have ratings? Remember the Melbourne game? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when Wayne used to give ratings? Yeah, you have to rate yeah. yourself. You have to rate yourself. And yeah, you know, everyone goes like six or whatever six. Yeah. There was one guy, it was against Melbourne, right? I remember I, I, I came off the bench, it was my debut year. Yeah. Uh, I, dropped, I dropped the ball my first run. And then and you run back like Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> and then we scored, we scored like later. And then we had a kickoff carry and I got stripped one-on-one -on -one off the kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> and then anyways, like... The next tackle or something. Yeah, like, like the next tackle, like I, I picked this guy up and like I was angry, I picked him up. Blah, blah, blah. And then I tried to pick up Christian Walsh. And you know how he turns? He's yeah, hip. Yeah. I went to pick him up as he turned, like his hip hit my, hit my, hit my temple. And I like did the splits or whatever. <laughs> and then and then the closest guy to me was Sua, but came around outside put, the field. I, I put him up. in the recovery position. No, he did. No. <laughs> he, he, went, he, he kept going. He asked for a drink. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we went to video, uh, went to video uh, the review, and we have the rating. Yeah. And Leaping come, came around and asked, oh, what, what are you rating your thing? The video like, analyst. Yeah, yeah, the video guy, yeah. And I was like, oh, your I, brother. Killed, I killed myself with two, because I played like 10 minutes and I had, yeah, anyways. And then I look at my, you know, you see your name. I looked at my name and he, yeah, he has a comment. Yeah. He rated me a zero. <laughs> and his comment was uh, two knock-ons, one knockout, no good. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone was like, everyone like looked at me. Cause you know how you see everyone's rating and like everyone, and then this guy looks at me like that. <laughs> and I was like. Oh, oh my God, that is so <laughs> fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you'll be getting ready next year, mate. So you just be ready. <laughs> uh, one yeah. more question. One more question for you. Uh, true or false? Uh, Is this a chip one? Yeah. Yeah, one more. We've yeah, got okay. one more for you. Um, obviously, when you found out Kirk Capel took your position in Origin <laughs> Game Decider, um, did you truly believe that he deserved the spot over you? Um. <laughs> Tell, bro. <laughs> what, what, mate? Oh. Well, I could I could understand um, no, 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 the way the they were going. Say what you missed me. Say what you yeah. you told me over. Say what you told me behind. Um. Oh, he did chip that. Yeah, that's calm. That's calm. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do it. Uh, you got. I got one more. Oh, <laughs> we got one more for you, bro. Yeah, we've got one more. We've got one for you. Yeah, you got one more for him too. Yeah, we got one for you. Do you have one more for him or not? Uh, I've had two. Oh, one one from you. One from you. So that's two questions, right? Oh, so yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Chill, chill, chill. Do you want? Do you want to? Or do you got a question for him? You go. I got one more for you. 
No, relax. I've got another one as well for him. Yeah, no, yeah. calm down. Jesus. All right. So, um, obviously this season, uh, who was a better coach, JD or Ben Hornby? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mate, come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> look I say they're, they're both good. Oh, were they? Yeah. I'm just asking, well, who's a better coach? Who's a better coach, JD or uh, Ben Hornby? <sighs> <laughs> well, mate, I, I can't choose one. You have yeah, to. Yeah, that's a question. Mate, but, I'm throwing both of them under the bus. But that's a question, mate. Who's a better coach? Oh, yeah, just 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 yeah, pour it with right, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright mate, relax. No, I'll just put a little bit. Is that gonna cut? <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Hey mate, that's it. No, don't waste it, mate. Come on, it's expensive. Alright, oh, beautiful. Okay. Do you have one more? No. You, no. you said you have one. No, more. you said. No, we've got to move on. Sorry, there's only two questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Alright, we've got a mystery question, boys. Mystery question. Uh, yeah. Foxy wrote you a question that um, he'll like each of you to answer. So let's open up, open up the envelope. After you. <laughs> Wait, open this one up. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. How's that chip, by the way? On phase, bro. Is that was it, are they the like world's hottest ones or? No, no, no. What are they? What are those ones? So um, what I do? I don't want to. I don't want to endorse anyone, mate. So <laughs> I can't. They haven't sponsored the show, so they're not going to get a plug. What do I do? Read out the question and answer it. Is cereal a soup and is hot dog a sandwich? That's a question. Wow, well, that's a weird one. Is cereal a soup? No, nah, it's not. It's a cereal. Yeah, it's a pretty obvious one, isn't it? That's a pretty dumb box. Cool, <laughs> cool question. <laughs> and is hot dog a sandwich? Is hot dog a sandwich? No? You're like, oh my God. My brain's hurting. Is hot dog a sandwich? Do you want to bring the microphone and you can talk into a microphone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is a hot dog a sandwich? I don't think so. Isn't it meant to be two pieces of bread? Like that sandwich? Is that a sandwich uh, or is that what? a roll? Is that is a roll a sandwich? Oh, that's a roll, isn't it? Hi, is a roll a sandwich? No. No. That's not, yeah. It's a roll. Yeah. A sandwich is a sandwich. Okay. A hot dog is a hot dog. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the answer. What do you think? I think we should and move on but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon you pick up that um, that sewer and uh, you got the opportunity to write a question for our next guest well both of you maybe you want to decide something Don't do we know me. who the guest is no? yeah who's the guest uh, do I yes I do who's the guest the two guests actually what like this yeah similar to this same team uh, similar vibes they're brothers that's the only thing you know yeah. write it down side at the bottom beautiful oh, yeah. sign it yeah beautiful sewer do the same Beautiful, beautiful. Appreciate it. Um, before we wrap up, boys, uh, this great show, uh, one for the ages. I want to ask you this one thing: uh, What's the worst thing you've done to get yourself out of trouble? You first. Worst thing I've done to get myself out of trouble. Mm. Um. <laughs> 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 Arthur. You're right, they so <laughs> get him a towel. <laughs> Mate. Oh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> lied. I don't know. Yeah, cool story, man. Let's do another question. I got four here just in case we did it here. All right. Um, last one. Uh, what player did you idolize growing up? I was um, uh, Benji Marshall for a long time. Yeah. I know you're not really a fan of his, but um, I'm not a fan of Benji. <laughs> <laughs> Hall of Famer, too. Hall of Famer, how good? Go. Yeah, so, when you pick the team with Wayne when you play. <laughs> so, <laughs> this guy. No. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no. no yeah, Benji, or, um, and then as I got older, Sonny, Sonny Bill. Now it's probably like Adi Savier, eh? But really, why? Yeah. I guess that's what he's, what he's doing for the Pacifica, I guess, community. and. <laughs> um, rugby, mate. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I think it's awesome, eh? Yeah, I like that. What about you, Keith? Uh, <clears throat> Sonny Bill, growing up. Yeah, because he grew up in the Canary Bankstown area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Turn his back on Canary, that's all right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> joking, joking. I'm sort of there, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, 
Ah, uh, Sunny Bull. And then when I got older and went through the grades at South Sammy. Okay, and who was, uh, who was, I guess, uh, influential in your childhood? Who, do you, who did you look up to? Yeah, uh, probably my old man, eh? Um, yeah, just seeing how hard he worked and, um, you know, early mornings, late finishes, uh, still getting me to where I need to get to. And, um, yeah, he was tough at times, eh? But, um, yeah, he was the man. Yeah, same. Obviously, both my parents, but, yeah, um, probably my dad because he was, you know, the worker and I uh, worked a few jobs to make things, you know, meet and, mm. um, you know, taking me training all the time and, you know, when he's so tired and everything like that, could have used it as an excuse, but um, he didn't. So, um, yeah, I'm glad it all worked out. So, I'm making him proud. Boys, so good to see you again. Um, and obviously, we're all the best for this week and for the rest of the season. So, until next time, mate. Cheers, Thanks for brother. coming on the show. Cheers, Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Uh, do you appreciate it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs>